So let's get started. Um, this is lesson five, so we'll be talking about microwave mediated reactions. Um, I I talk I I put in the reading materials that um, in terms of importance of microwave mediated reactions, how ubiquitous they are in different uh, in natural environment, and we also talk about the biogeochemical redox ladder. Um, in the reading material. So things happen in sequence. And then we have this example of, I uh, was talking about in this thing. So I grab some soil in the backyard, um, putting a, a water bottle in the kitchen. So this is not really, this is a cup, I would say. So that's a system we have, right? In that example, we put some soil there. Let's close it. We have some water there. Um, so we have some soil. Let's just put these. Let's say these are the grains, right? And the water originally have some oxygen in it. And I told you that the soil that I have, we just new recently fertilized. I mean, you will have nitrate in the system. So essentially, in the system, you have oxygen and nitrate as uh, electron acceptors, right? And typically, for example, the soils usually have bacteria already there. Um, uh, microbes is everywhere. They do a lot of work. So, and also, usually, you would expect the soil carbon have the soil have some organic material. So essentially, it ha also have um, organic carbon. which we use um, acetate to represent that, right? So essentially, we're talking about a system that has water in it. It's well mixed. It has bacteria in it, right? So let's use that to represent bacteria. And it have two electron acceptors, oxygen and nitrate. Perfect. We have system, we know it's going to have something going on, right? And again, it's well mixed. We are not talking about a vaccine transport uh, dif uh, dispersion diffusion yet. So this is a well mixed system, meaning it's, 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 there's no concentration gradient in the system. Now that's just a system you have. So you have bugs. We use bugs. Uh, the formula for bug is HC5. H seven O N something like that, right? And depends on what type of bacteria it is. If it's using oxygen, then we put oxygen on the at the side just to indicate this is oxi uh, oxygen reducing bacteria. If it's nitrate Reducing bacteria, we put nitrate there just to distinguish between the two different bacteria. So essentially, you have two types of bacteria there in the system. That's the system you have, and what's there, all the players, right? Now, if we think about the reactions, what are the reactions, right? So first of all, we, we talk about in the re biogeochemical redox ladder, oxygen is the one that is going to be used first because usually it has fast um, reaction rate. Um, it also get the bacteria, the microbial also get more energy out of it. So that means it has growth advantage because it can grow more with the same amount of organic carbon they have. So the first one is we call aerobic oxidation. Meaning you will have the transformation from CH3, we use acetate to represent organic carbon. I'm not putting uh, all these numbers in terms of stoichiometry that are the company, but essentially just writing what are the major products, right? So organic carbon will become oxidized to become bicarbonate or other forms of carbon, if it's very uh, relatively acidic condition, you might have CO2 um, gas coming out. And you have water or hydrogen or whatever condition it allows. And then you will grow bacteria. So bacteria is also one of the products that we talk about, right? 
will be N and then producing the ox it's a oxy oxygen reducing bacteria or aerobic bacteria or microbe. So that's the the the, the oxygen related reaction. So we, we talk about okay that reaction will happen first. And remember this is a closed system, meaning we have certain amount of oxygen dissolve at the first, and then it's going to be depleted over time because the, it's, a, it's a reactant, so the microbial will be using this up. And then the next step, the next reaction that's going to happen will be denitrification. Right, so you will have, again, let's assume we would have plenty of organic carbon there. So then you would have nitrate. Again, the, the in, will be inorganic carbon be, become produced. It's the same process if you think about the, 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 the human system, right? We breathe oxygen, we eat food uh, like grains, bread, uh, rice, different type of essentially organic carbon, and then we we breathe out CO two, which is essentially it's another form of, of bicarbonate, right? Um, and then the water, let's not write that. And then you have another type of bacteria coming, uh, or microbial coming out, which would be the denitrification um, microbe. So these are the two driver of the system. But then come uh, typically you would also have, I'm just writing very at the side, is there, there should be the convert somewhat fast reaction compared to this micro immediate reaction would be the trans transition between CO2 AQ, bicarbonate, and carbonate, these are the carb inorganic carbon species that we know is going to happen. We talk about that in aqueous speciation or aqueous complexation reactions that we discussed before. So these are very fast reactions. So the major driver are really these. And if you have other species, um, for example, calcium or magnesium, if there's plenty of them, there might be precipitation come because this reaction will produce a lot of bicarbonate and bicarbonate can, when the condition allows, it could precipitate a calcite, for example. Now these, um, we're not going to, to focus on these. Our major goal right here, right now, is talking about these drivers. And if, if there's applications that you will need to consider these, that's something that um, will be specific about particular applications. Now, so we have these reactions. These are the processes we could focus on. And then we'll be thinking about the spe species, like what are the species are there? If we have, um, so for sure, we would have the, all the electron acceptor there, which is oxygen, a dissolved oxygen. You have nitrate. You have CH3, COO. These are the variables that we are solving for in these equations, right? And then we also have, um, let's put bicarbonate. But you, we know this that's going to be also carbonate, uh, CO2, AQ, right? Or H2, CO3. Yeah, the same. These three are almost like equivalent with each other. Hydrogen ion, for sure, and then it goes with the OH minus, right? Electron, acceptor, electron donor, products, nitrogen is, um, did I write? Okay, I should, here I should add another, which is the product of denitrification. One product of denitrification will be uh, N2. There could be a lot of, like a, a, a few other intermediate uh, reaction product, NO2 minus. Um, people have seen that, or ammonia even. This could happen too. We're just using this as an example. So N2, right? So these are the major uh, species. But also, when we solve for this, when we are writing these four reactions in terms of this reaction, uh, my could be as. Um, product, we also should have C5H7O N 
and then O2, right? And then C5. These are the two major products too. It's not just uh, the abiotic species. These are the we we consider the microbi are the products of this reaction too, right? So these are the species that you are solving. And then, okay, so you we are not talking about other complexation reactions. So really, we're focused on these species, and you 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 probably quickly know by this time. These are the second. These could be the second species, second species, second species, right? These are the things that we um, consider. And then the, the primary species would be oxygen, nitrate, this, this, hydrogen, nitro, N two, and these, right? These are the primary species. Let me just write as primary to indicate the color. So that's what you have for in terms of variables we are solving for. Now again, we are talking about the well-mixed system. So when we think about the reactions, um, the equations, it would be really the reaction in term, for example, oxygen, you would have something like this, right? It would be dc dt for oxygen, for example. Oxygen is being consumed, right? So the volume, so it's really volume of the bottle, the, the mass, and then times is dc dt, but then you also have, um, essentially would be the mu, right? The mu is just, let's call this mu is a stoichiometric coefficient. It's consuming, right? It's in the left hand side of the of the equation, the reaction, because meaning it's being consumed. So this is stoichiometric. If, for example, in France this is 0 0.5, this value will be 0 0.5. And then we will be we think about the consumption. So the, the rate of this will follow monad, dual monad um, kinetics, right? So you would have this mu max for oxygen term, and then we have this, how much bacteria are there? So it'll be the C5H7O2 and I should have our O2 here. That's why I feel something is, something is weird. Okay, O2. It should be all have O2 there. All right, so you have these species, O2, and, and this is oxygen reducing bacteria. So mu max concentration of by mass, and then you should have the two monod term, right? One is for concentration of oxygen and then Km oxygen plus concentration of O2, that's electron acceptor. And then you have the C, CH3CO minus, sorry, I'm writing a bit of, this will be time, right? So Km and then the plus C, Acetate CH3. I'm, I can't write anymore, but you know what I mean. So, this is electron donor term, electron acceptor term, by mass, maximum, um, maximum reaction rates. So, that's for oxygen. Similarly, you will write this for VDC. It's also being consumed, so essentially you will have the same, but you will have mu, this of CH3, COO, minus, and the same expression, right? It's, it's the same reaction going on, just consume different chemical species in different uh, proportion. And you would write again also for uh, Bicarbonate for so that's one of the products, so you really should have positive sign before this, right? So you have right V D C D T. This will be like total carbon, 
right? And then mu of bicarbonate. Right, so all this goes down. So you'll be writing for all these. Now when you write for, so if you only have oxygen, you, you would have oxygen, this um, acetate, bicarbonate, and other species, that's good enough. But if you have nitrogen, then your, your equation for nitrogen will be a little bit different in the sense that you would have the you would have the um, same, but it would be replaced by nitri nitrate uh, acetate, but you will have the inhibition term by oxygen because oxygen will act as inhibitor for denitrification to happen. When you have plenty of nitrogen in, uh, oxygen in the system, denitrification is not going to happen. Only after this concentration of oxygen has had been decreased to a level that this term is more or less much higher than this, then this value will be close to one, then denitrification really kicks in. So that's for nitrate. But also notice when you have um, nitrate, when you have both electron acceptors, this reaction will be happen at the same time, just at the first oxygen will, will be the dominant one because this term will be have very small value, will be inhibited denitrification to happen. But then this says the rate of this will become smaller and smaller because oxygen becomes smaller concentration while this term becomes bigger and bigger. So there is a switch between different electron acceptors. The other thing is when you have multiple electron acceptors, when you write these um, assisted equations, or when you write these, for example, produced uh, inorganic carbon, you need multiple term too. Because uh, nitrate denitrification process also contribute to the consumption of acetate and production of um, bicam. These are like common products or common reactants. So you will have multiple term if you have the nitrate related term. I'm not going to detail everything, but essentially that's what you think would uh, would have. Um, so solving this equation, let's say you have all these species, you're right, you'll be writing how many independent equations for primary species, and you have three um, fast reactions that you can, you can form algebraic relationship to solve these other secondary species. You solve everything as a function of time, right? So this is dt. This is not a uh, partial t. Now, in that case, what do you think it will happen when we have these um, products? So, so I, I talk about we have some magic power, magic powder put in, in the bottle. We help us. We 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 read our numbers. What do you think it will be the Trend of, for example, oxygen, and what's going to be the trend of temporal evolution of nitrate? Let's using nitrate for this one. How do you think they are going to look like in terms of curve? And so that will be actually the, the output of the model, right? You can look at, you can think about how it was going to happen. So uh, aerobic oxidation going to happen. First, oxygen concentration is going to be consumed first and decreased, right? So let's say it's maybe oxygen start from here. You will see a decreasing trend of oxygen. Let's say just something like that, okay? And then 
What about nitrate? So nitrate is at first it's because it with it with the presence of oxygen, you you wouldn't see much of nitrate um, decreasing. So it probably at the beginning, it it's going to let's say start some from somewhere here. It'll be relatively flat, right? But it's also when the nitrogen, when the I'm sorry. When the oxygen starts to decrease, it's just start to show the sign of. And it depends on the rates, right? How fast, how long it will take. It will depend on. So when it's like almost completely depleted, then you would have nitrate kind of going full swing, and then it's it's going to decrease really fast. But then when you think about uh, the products, right? So this produce N2. So it's probably N2, let's say at the beginning, it's not much, it's almost zero. Now when nitrate is start to be denitrified, then N2 start to increase, increase, right? It's almost like in the, it almost mirrors the nitrate. So this would be N2, that's a product of denitrification, right? Oxygen decrease followed by nitrate decrease and oxygen increasing. What if you also have sulfate? Let's use another color. Let's use blue again. What if you have nitrate? So nitrate, so let's assume there's no iron there. So when you have sulfate, so there's another electron acceptor, which is sulfate, which is also pretty active in subsurface environment. Probably not in, in very shallow soil, but in, in a bit of deeper, when you don't have a lot of oxygen, you tend to have sulfate. So sulfate would be probably, let's say, something like, let's say it start here. It would start to become decreased when this denitrification happens, then the contrition decreases. But then it will also follow, right? Maybe it wouldn't decrease, depends on how much electron donors you have in the scepter. So this, let's say this is representing sulfate. And the product of that is sulfides, right? So sulfides probably would, is, small at the beginning, but then it will be increasing over time, something like that. It's called the HS minus. And just this is like randomly ending another electron, except it's not in this equation. But if you we need to write for sulfate too, then you would have three major microwave reactions. And in addition to this, you would also have um, equation related to sulfate and sulfide production. And notice also sulfate reduction will be inhibited by both oxygen and nitrate. So then you have two inhibition terms. So in that case, um, when only when oxygen and nitrate is depleted to pretty small amount, then it is the sulfate reduction can start to kick in. So this, this inhibition um, terms really would ensure the, re the biogeochemical redox ladder in the system. Okay, so that's what we have for this unit, uh, for this lesson. And uh, you, you can, you, this will set up stage for you to do the homework, think about different reactions that are going to happen in sequence in natural systems, in soil aquifers, and then how uh, my could be evolve and uh, the, the different concentration evolve over time. Actually, we didn't talk about mercury, but the mercury concentration will increase over time, following where these different type will be following their own electron acceptor, um, e electron, the, the, the electron acceptor evolution, right? Oxygen decrease and um, the aerobic mercury will be increased, things like that. Okay, so let me stop here and you are ready to do the homework. Thank you.